Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this clip art, and it is relatively sharp, but amazing how well it, it uh, traced, because it's only 221 dots per inch, and that's including all this garbage. But they want to be able to cut it out, and they're going to make a Christmas ornament out of it. It's a pretty cool little young girl with a horse. All you have to do, let's get this out of the way, is take this, it's relatively small. Just go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. Takes just a second and it does it remarkably well. Say okay, move the new one out of the way. And you can see that it's still got a, a background of that wood grain looking stuff. But we can take a box, turn the box yellow, go up to object, order, back a page. All we have to do is take this horseshoe, go to object, group, and ungroup. Because the black is all connected, we can just move it over here and it leaves the white. So now you've got a, a really clean, I mean, it can't get any really cleaner than this, clip art. And then just left click, no fill, and right click, and I would suggest red for a hairline for cutting, and then that will cut out. Now, I don't know what you're gonna do as far as hanging this, but uh, my suggestion would be to make two, maybe put a slot, slot in and then use a ribbon, kind of like a yoke up here to put on a Christmas tree. Because I wouldn't, you could add wood through here, but it's gonna take away. But if you just took a, you could even take a square slot and maybe even round off the corners like And just, whoop, I had it, had mine unlocked. I need to lock that back. You see, now you have rounded corners. And just, um, that's actually a little bit too big. Just bring it down and try to match that angle. We wouldn't really have to match that angle, but it would. I think it would look better if you, um, and one way to do this, a pretty good little trick since you've got a node right there, stick that node on that item Double click on your rotation and put your rotation on that node and then bring this. Just bring this handle and stay pretty close to the line and it should snap right to it. And then just move it away from there and just mimic it on the other side. I'd control D and make a duplicate, but mirror it. And then it's going to be at the same angle on the other side. And you could do this by nudging or by eyeballing. You know, let's say, let's do it by nudging. Let's put this back here. And let's set our nudge factor on like 0.1. And let's go, I'm going to, and because this is not at a right angle, I'm going to nudge down and over. So I, I downed and, and over. So I'm going to go down and to the right. So I put it much, pretty much in the same spot. That's just a suggestion. You could run a ribbon through there and make it red or whatever. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.